Welcome back to Dreams Got a Game Here Called of Concrete and Metal by Brett's Play a Game. I like that. A psychological experience using liminal spaces. Thank you from Team Lim Limbo. So, liminal spaces, a la something like the back rooms. And, uh. We're in jail. Use the left stick to move and the right stick to look around. Okay. Welcome to Of Concrete and Metal. This experience is made with the intention of misdirection and will use liminal spaces to make you feel a particular way. Some may find it uncomfortable or creepy or uninteresting. My hope is that you stick with it and find all the secrets or die trying. The story is told through notes and documents, so be aware that there is a lot of reading. Best of luck to you. Oh god, and I have to read. Look, this is going to sound weird, bordering on insane, but you have no choice but to trust me. I'm you from a different timeline. You gotta get out of that cell. Try looking around for something. The room changes, things fall through the gaps in reality. It's blurry now, but you'll see shortly. I've gotta stay vigilant. You've gotta stay vigilant. What fell? Oh, there's another note. If I have the right timeline, then the gap jumper worked, and this letter isn't in vain. Let's see if I could send other objects to the void. You're going to need a key to open the door. Look around for one. Hopefully it makes it through. I guess that was it. I would come through myself, but that would kill me. With that said, you'll have to escape alone. However, I'll be helping you best I can. First, let's just get that door open. I'll send you the key shortly. Another note. Okay, so I don't know where the key went. I don't think it made it to you, but I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to keep trying. Easier said, though. I've only had one left. Give me a few more hours. That creeps me out every time. <laughs> well, I say hours, but it's only seconds for you in current timeline. Maybe I could come through to help you myself. Could it really be that simple? Are you here? Or... Hey, there's a key. There are noises out here. Hello? Oh god, is that my toilet? Oh god, that's gross. I'm so gross. There we go. This one is bloody. Don't play around with dimensional shifting. It scatters the atomic structure of things, and then reconstructs them at another point in 3D space. Trying it on stationary objects works alright at best. Living people, on the other hand, you have lots of moving parts. That's why you do not try sending live people through. <laughs> we regret to inform you that the version of you that was helping you- Oh god. No, he, he's dead. Me. Uh, they tried to jump timelines to see you. We were doing everything. We can to remedy the situation. Return to your cell. Your quarantine hasn't been lifted yet. It will soon once we figure out how to safely reach you. How can I trust that note? It had blood on it. Locked. Locked. There's a new door right there. Locked. Uh, what if I just go back in my cell? And just chill out, I guess. I really gotta flush my toilet. <laughs> Alright, let's go through that door. Oh. Can't even remember why you were put in the cell, but you want a way out anyway. Not everything you see really is there. One thousand. There we go. Part two. Misplaced in a timeline. You need a key card to get past your oh. Cool. Do 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 do. This is the break room, I'm guessing. You aren't going to like what you find. You should have stayed in your cell.
we've got a blue screen of death over here. A problem has been te uh, a problem has been detected is this computer has been disabled to prevent damage. We start the computer if this is the first time seeing this error screen. By now we are sure you realize something is wrong here. Uh, any memory you have of this place is low quality. Not much is coherent. Where are you right now? What is with that weird music in the hallway? Why is the design of this room so strange? You sure the way ahead isn't just an empty room? This is what Metal Decay looks like. Weird. There's a phone! Oh. Look around for clues. Use triangle and square uh, buttons to perform action. Next up, uh, there we go. Ethics of simulated isolation. There has been much controversy over isolation in simulated environments. The negative effects of physical isolation can be quickly quelled through interaction of simulated life. AI in the form of other people, as long as the AI behavior is believable to the subject, it is the most effective method. Many subjects also respond well to an AI companion, such as a friendly dog. Whoever is more... Remember those toy dogs? I think you used to get them... They used to come with a toy in the McDonald's. Happy Meal. Those are great. Uh, however, uh, as more of the humanity is taken from the simulation, subjects begin to look into other things for comfort. The sound of other people, talking on a radio, and, or maybe a TV tuned to a news channel. Anything that looks like links into the community of other living. Breathing people, uh, breathing people they surround themselves with. Once you take that away, their mind goes with it. There's kind of some truth to that. Like, I need, I need YouTube, man. I think for how long I've lived now, I've watched YouTube more than I have ever watched TV. I believe. Because YouTube started around like 2008, right? 2007, 2008? And I was just like in my teens at the time, but now I'm w much older. So yeah, I think I've definitely uh, watched stuff on YouTube more than I have on TV. Okay. I don't know where that conversation came from. Uh, oh yeah. Basically, uh, you're lonely and you need AI for comfort. You need a key card. Key card, key card, key card. An ordinary King James Bible looks kind of old. A book of nuclear chemistry reminds me reminds you of school. Garbage. Ah, key card. You obtain the key card. It has your name and face on it. Oh. The hell was that? What did I drink? Was that a freaking like bang energy drink or something? Tiger bar. Oh, I could get drinks. R1. Blizzard Cola. Mmm. Oh, that's the classic. Let's try the Cherry Thunder. Ooh, that was a rush. <laughs> what else? Absolute zero. Oh. Permafrost Punch. Aw, nothing. Whiskey! Hell yeah! Whoa! getting wavy out here. What's last? Spring water. Oh, no water. Oh, ow. Moving weird because I drink of that whiskey. <laughs> Alright. Shouldn't drink on the job. Okay. Be cool. Access <gasps> denied. What? Why? Oh, uh, okay. 
Sorry, I had to switch out the computer for a different one. I'm sure you don't mind anyway. Be glad our keycard didn't work. I sent military grade proximity explosives to the stairwell of a hundred different timelines. They turned off our keycard after they imprisoned you. I can't see you, so I had to make sure it's really you and not one of them. Anyway, the room changed. See if you could f can find what went through while I continue to figure out how to free you without getting either of us killed. Is that me again or a different version of me? Or is that someone else trying to help us? Dimensional shifting. April thirty, April thirty fifth, huh? Eleven thousand AT. Okay. Uh. There has been an occurrence. Redacted has escaped their cell and had fled our facility. That's me. Worse yet, they have begun aiding the escape of alternate versions of themselves in alternate timelines. In some time, in some timelines, Redacted and the deceased are captured. This has led to the original Redacted are Redacted to pull personal personnel out of their own timeline, which we kill will kill them. Locating Redacted is our top priority. We need to contain this before. He frees and empowers other redactants across the spectrum. The SPE calls it a parallel nightmare. More notation to come. June 2nd. This multiple timeline thing is impossible to navigate. Some timelines have space-time fabric that is more or less dense than our own. This results in time progressing faster or slower relative to our time perspective. It is very confusing. <laughs> yes, this results in vastly different calendars between the timelines. Even with our familiarity filter on, some timelines have 18 months in a year or their September comes before their November. Uh... Doesn't September come before? Or is ex it exactly right before November? Uh, it will take a team of geniuses to decipher all of this. What's more insane is Redacted actually managed to contact and coordinate the escape of several of their parallel selves while avoiding us. Uh, selves while avoiding us. Redacted is on an intellectual level that is completely unprecedented, and we put them in a cell. Uh. Date. Who cares? We're all dead anyway. <laughs> Redacted is out of our hands now. They are sending things from one timeline to another. There is no log of what was sent, where it was sent to, or what time it was sent, as if the time can't even be measured properly. Redacted has made a mess in this reality and hundreds, a uh, hundred of others. Uh, Redacted is a man in some timelines and a woman in others. Ooh. Okay. So finding them in a multiverse uh, is impossible, but Redacted has managed to do it. And more, we never stood a chance. And more, we never stood a chance. Who knows how many more are free as I document this. Maybe we deserve this. Hello, Redacted. I'm also Redacted. <laughs> My name is Isaac Franco. Even if we don't share the same name or face, we are the same person. Respected to our unique timeline. You may be in a timeline where they wiped your memory before they imprisoned you. If you can't remember much before being put in the cell, that's why, uh, that's why. you're too smart and too rebellious. And that freaked them out. I escaped before they could wipe me. Now I'm helping other versions of myself get out alive, so we can tell others what they did to us. But first, we need to get. We, need, you need to get out. Just give me one more try to see if I can figure out how to get you out of there. Close. Uh. Oh, is that a printer? Oh, there's writing on the inside of the candy bar wrapper. I found a blue pen. I'm trying to be creative about where I put my clues. Remember, I'm sending these to multiple timelines. In several locations, the versions of you in different mental states. I'm trying to figure out what is going on here. And I'm sh sure that I figured it out in another timeline. But that version of me is either dead or unable to reach you. All I can tell you is, don't trust anyone who was in you. Uh, they will try to put you back in your cell or kill you. Okay. Got some water. Hmm. Oh. You are lying to yourself. A fiction where you are the premise protagonist. Uh, the genius protagonist is more comforting than the painful truth. Have you tried Blizzard Cola? Permafrost Punch? It sells fast. Sometimes the sensor doesn't register your drink selection. That's because for permafrost punch is so popular, people broke the button on the reading machine, on the vending machine. Just keep pressing the button until it drops your drink. 
Permafrost Punch. Was that the one of the ones that I couldn't get? Ah. Okay. I guess that should hit. Oh, boy. Sorry. Okay. Um. Need a code. Okay, good talk. Happy to be here. Oh. It's the vending machine. I'm out of stock. I already drank it though, right? Ah, there we go. Now it works. Over here. Listen to me. They, uh, they pinpointed the dude, your location, and they're gonna try and cross dimension and jump on you. It's not going to kill you because of you. Subject data of clubs, your mental state is beginning to change. This is normal. Focus on traversing the building. You need to find a notebook. We'll use the notebook and these documents to inform you of your situation. The notebook is in the basement, but it's locked behind a door. You'll need a key card to get through it. Best to look for a Delta key card before heading to the basement.
Whoa. Oh, thought it was just darkness. Okay. Uh, when coming up with narratives for our subjects, they all seemed to trust someone. They recognized. Even after the memory wipe, the subjects still knew who they were on the fundamental level. That's why the alternate timeline self works so well. Subjects will believe that the other versions of themselves have their best interest. Also, they're... They really realize that's because they are the ones helping themselves. They are technically alone. Isolation is a mean weapon. That's why what we're doing to Subject 8 of Clubs feels wrong. So I am alone. Front of notebook, press L on the close. The first page. If you can tell by now, the simulation is the truth. You were never in control and were never talking to yourself from another timeline. You are alone. Oh, we do understand the sadness of it, yeah, but that's the nature of the simulation. These tests are integral to the study of human psychology, though. Don't worry, once we finish this exercise, your memory will be re reset. You will return to the state we have put you in so many times before. That's good news for you. No more dealing with this disorienting trauma. It's completely painless. In the following exercises, uh, we will be testing memory while inducing a feeling of conepsia. Best to explore as well. Exploration helps your mind remember. Okay. Oh. Sigma. Fuse. Okay. Uh, here's where we test your memory and navigation skills. You are part of Project Blacklight, and to discover the full truth about it, you will have to make it through the Alpha Door. Uh, this fuse box powers the UV lights in this part of the building. The UV lights will reveal a code needed to access the Alpha Keycard. You have undergone numerous memory wipes, and so this fuse box test is our way of making sure your short-term memory is still fully functional. Once all four fuses are active, pull the lever to the right of the fuse box to turn on the UV light. The UV lights lock the doors and on the upper level, so remember to shut them back off before you proceed. Press square in front of the other lever to pull it. Behind this door is the Gamma Hotel. This is a liminal space simply because it's not a place to permanently live. It is only a temporary living space. It has all the comforts of a normal hotel has. Uh, has Comfortable beds, heating, and AC. Large bathrooms, TV, refrigerator, stove, laundry room, microwave, coffee maker, luggage storage, workout rooms, pool, hot tub, cafe. Only thing missing is other people. <laughs> no staff room, no service, no chef, no other patrons. It is just a subject. A day or two in the Gamma Hotel is fine. After a week, the subject is glued to the TV just to hear the voice of another person. These findings led to the memory wipe protocol that has now become standard practice for deep liminal research. The Omega door is an empty convenience store on the other side, nobody attending the register, and there are thousands of products to choose from. Initially, many people find the situation favorable. The stress of common social interaction make many uh, otherwise functional people uncomfortable. However, extended amounts of social isolation while in a conven 
conventionally populated setting is taxing on our psycho psychological well-being. You, however, always seem right at home in the Omega store. On more than one occasion, you begin acting as if you lived there. Be okay. There's the Alpha door. Was Positive integrity at 70%. This room is linked to our advanced MRI. It can scan a subject's brain and give broad results in under 10 seconds. The MRI is constantly scanning to give our research team a stream of medical information, but the subject can check their own status by just passing through this room. The faded door stays locked. Behind it is perceived freedom. It lets you out to a downtown city block. Buildings, brands, and businesses fill the area around you, but there are no people. Complete isolation is an otherwise booming metropolis. There are cars in the parking lots, lights on in stores, and apartments, parks, and playgrounds have equipment. But it's all empty. There is nobody there. Now, it is still in development, so it's not ready for you yet. However, with enough data collected through these simulations, we will be able to unlock the Theta door for you. As for now, you will just have to imagine what it's like to explore the big empty city. I didn't read this one yet. The Omega Store is named as such because it is normally the last test for most subjects. No subject from the Heart or Diamond category even made it to the Omega Store. The few in Spades category that did make it only lasted a few days tops. Subjects from the Clubs category did surprisingly well with subjects 3, 8, Jack, and Queen outlasting a week. Subject Queen of Clubs is using powerful coping mechanisms to keep in good condition. Subject 8 of Clubs is kind of strange that no matter what simulation we subject them to, they always bounce back and ask for something harder. They almost seem to enjoy being locked up in an empty gas station store. Very strange but helpful to our research. I'm made of clubs, right? Data City is just a, that, a downtown city block. It is devoid of people, so our subject has the whole block all to themselves. Sounds kind of nice. All that space and all that stuff and nobody to hurt you or tell you what to do. Nobody to stop you uh, so you can do whatever you want. Only stipulation is, obviously, whatever you do, you have to do it by yourself. After a while, subjects lose their drive to create works of art. An audience of none isn't appealing. Subjects begin talking to themselves or engage in dangerous activities to remedy boredom. At this point, the liminal space feeling is no longer relevant, and we end the test. We have told all future subjects that the Theta City is still under construction. Side note, many of us convinced that if we let Ada Clubs into Theta City, they would attempt to kill themselves after a week just to see if they could do it. Damn. I'm kind of a legend around here. For now, just to figure out what the hell to do. Okay, I need one more fuse. Our current test subject, Subject 8 of Clubs, has gotten the most controversial treatment. Most subjects in the clubs category are prepared for all of the hard stuff, the lonely simulations with the extended isolation periods. Most subjects are given in and asked to be pulled from the simulation after a third or fourth memory wipe. Subject 80C is on their twelfth memory wipe and they keep requesting for the most difficult tests. They haven't reached their psychological threshold yet and I hope they never do. Still, they can end their simulation session the moment they have had enough. We have lied to them, made them believe they were the hero of their own story and shattered their delusion several times. Yet they still press on. All their scans say they are mentally sound enough for the last test, but many of Team Limbo are hopeful that they turn down the contract. We won't run a test on a hostage. Oh, I didn't see that fuse there. My bad. Okay. Scanning. There was a little light to indicate that it was there too. I, I noticed that light before, but I didn't think of I didn't think of anything when looking at it. 
So we got all four fuses now. There we go. This way. Keep going. Getting closer. Almost there. Remember this 2193. 2193. 42193. 42193. 42193. 42193. Uh, the doors aren't going to open until you turn the UV lights back off. Locked, remember? 42193. 42193. Okay. Boop. 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 Turn it back on. Or turn it back off. Be able to use the code here. Four, two, one, nine, three. Little victory jump there. Got an alpha card, which is right here. Ooh, you made it to the alpha door. The contract that you signed states that we must explain each test to you before we run in. We run it on you. We will honor that, and so we will explain your final test. However, your memory will be wiped before we conduct the last of our tests. We have put the details along with a few other documents on our research in this simulation. If you are satisfied with everything, proceed to the end of this hall for your memory wipe. If you wish to cancel the memory wipe, simply end the dream in this pause menu to stop the simulation. Many of our staff would highly recommend that you not go through with this wipe, but ultimately this decision is yours to make. Uh, let's go! Mammy wipe, mammy wipe, mammy, mammy, mammy wipe, mammy wipe. Oh, what? Well, what's going on? Is this the process of the memory wipe? Thank you for contributing. Thank you for your contribution to Project Blacklight. Use the directional to look around. Strange. Part four: Hard reset. We appreciate your continued support. Uh. Try to relax as we prepare your memory wipe. Oh boy. Memory and storage. Don't worry, the memory wipe is painless and quick. So take a moment to prepare yourself for your final test. It will be challenging. Please hold still for your memory wipe. several manipulation mechanics. This is your international. This is international. However, some players might experience discomfort as a result. You have two options. Read the about the level before starting it. This will give away spoilers. Skip the warning and experience the level with no knowledge of what is about to happen. Skip. Circle, right? Skip. Part 5. Liminal Loop. Oh boy. I think I know where this is going. Hello, back rooms.
Oh man. I hear the whispering. I hear you talking. Here we go, your last test. Your vitals show that you're already dehydrated. You're tired. You know you don't belong here. First find something to drink. Then you can look for a way out. Alrighty. Hey, a fire. We still be warm. Oh, desk. Nothing there. What floor sign? Oh. There we go. You've already been this way. Is chair moving? Why are you moving towards me? Oh god. Oh no. This is like that tire movie. Anyways. Listen, we can only help you if you let us. You've had too many memory wipes already. Just end the dream. You are in no condition to locate the eggs by yourself. We cannot help you either. You have to end the simulation before you lose your mind. At this rate, that won't be too much longer. I lose my mind on my own terms. Ooh. Worthless. Huh. Funding for Project Blacklight wasn't easy. Advanced and immersive simulations cost a small fortune. The technicians, scientists, subjects, and other staff require a paycheck as well. The contractors get a big slice of the pie too. Between the groundbreaking technology, the legal red tape from this project, the countless hours of work everyone puts in, and the bottomless amount of power we consume to just keep the lights on, I'm shocked our accounting team hasn't told us to cool it on the budget spending. Chair really wants me, man. Oh, what the hell? Thought I saw like little bugs. Think I'm going crazy. We just finished our meeting with the finance team. I was half expecting them to rename this project Project Bankruptcy. Yet yeah, we are only slightly over budget, but we are ahead of schedule. Everyone is thanking Subject 8 of Clubs for their above and beyond contribution to this project. They just keep going. Our health team will not stop advising 8 of Clubs to cut back on all the simulations and tests. Or our finance team is incentivizing more tests with higher payouts. I can't help but wonder, are we turning to bribery as a way to finish... Sorry. Uh, finish hard and frankly damaging tests. Something seems wrong here. Okay, yeah. Th this back part of the back room has changed up a bit. I think. This is where I started, I believe. Am I just here now? Just existing in this space? I'm seeing more bugs than bugs. Are you lost? Yeah, pretty, 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 pretty lost. Can I? Ah! Oh, <laughs> I didn't think that would do anything. Uh, all right, getting disoriented. You could say that. Oh, my footsteps are echoing.
You've already been in that room for 14 hours. You keep walking in the same part of the building too. You still have another two, three blanks of the office area to discover. You're already dehydrated again and cannot keep track of time and the simulation already. No, I'm going. I'm good. Leave me alone. I have a theory as how do we are able to afford the test on native clubs. The finance team just sent out us the contract for the subject's final test. The payout is hundreds of millions of dollars. We can't afford to pay one contractor that much money. However, if they were to die or become brain dead from the test, insurance uh, would only cover a million, a few million. Finance team doesn't ex expect subject aided clubs to survive the final test. The contract states that the full payment eight clubs would have to endure an entire month in the final test. By then, they won't be functional enough to collect a paycheck. We are monsters. What the hell happened? My controller's vibrating. I'm hearing stuff. I don't like it. Everything sounds like I'm underwater. Oh, no. Everything's getting dark. So I've been here 14 hours. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god. I almost got stuck on the wall. I'm trying to figure out where I haven't been yet. Okay. We regret to inform you that your request for facility transfer has been denied. You lack the required credentials for your relocation. However, you can provide the prerequisite forms. We encourage you to resubmit your request. Best of luck, Team, team Limbo. Oh, what's this? You're running in circles. Oh, it's getting weird. Your mind is merged with the voxels of this of the liminary engine. This is the final stage of descent. There is no turning back after this. You are about to lose everything, including yourself. You are about to regress into something beyond isolation. Is this what you want? We're talking millions and millions of dollars here. And the dream. No. What is left for you to test? What is left for you to learn? What is left? Let's see if you can remember the series of numbers. 4, 3, 7, 9. Think you can remember that? If so, look for a door with a number locked next to it. Punch in that... Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Punch in that code and the door will unlock. Best of luck to you. 4, 3, 7, 9. 4, 3, 7, 9. 5, 2, 0, 6. 4, 3, 7, 9. 4, 3, 7, 9. 4, 3, 7, 9. Oh, God. Everything's getting sideways. This is what most barren awareness, they lie to you and they are just going to get away with it. Hold on. I missed that note. This is the most barren awareness a person can endure. You are being stripped of your identity. You are there. Who are you? There are no more coherent pathways for you to take. Soon not even sounds and shapes will be familiar. As you read this, you are forgetting what words look like or what they sound like when spoken. As the... I got it right. Let's go. Where am I going? Oh god. I'm just running into walls now. Ow. Look for a door. Look for a door. Where a door? Where a door? Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Get out! Dude. Oh god. Okay. It's collapsing. Oh jeez. Safety protocol states that we end a simulation once your life is in danger. Turns out, after being in our simulation for too long, you become um, responsive and we tried to bring you back. Resusc resuscitation took too long and you fell into a coma. 
You've been coming to us for almost a full week. I can live with it. You can't continue on like this. Find the stop, stop. Where's the damn door? Is it behind the vending machine? Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Ah, no. Vending machine's down though. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> this is trippy. <laughs> oh shit. There's nothing there. Oh god, it's on my screen. I can't see. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I got it off. You'll die in here at this rate. God, I can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck this way. This isn't good. Are we out? Oh, jeez. Did I ever set myself? Oh, God. What is going on? Oh, God. over. Relax, it's over. You successfully descended into sanity. You're clearly both stubborn and curious. I appreciate you not giving up on this experience. I know it could have been easy, but that's but that's it for co of Concrete and Metal. I hope you enjoyed playing my dream. It would not be possible without the extremely talented Dreams community. I use several assets from the community to make this experience come to life. The story is my own. The story is my own, but the liminal spaces are a product of your works. Again, thank you. As a way to thank you for making it through the final tests, here are some free gifts, as well as the final score. Scored based on how much interaction you made, as well as seeing it through to the very end. In other words, you are being rewarded for losing your mind and dying. Congratulations. This is the end. Though there are plenty of hidden gems within each of the four playable levels, try to see if you can find them, if you're willing to subject yourself to this madness again. 
Oof. Okay. That was an experience. I guess I have to exit out. Okay. I kind of feel dizzy after playing that last part. <laughs> it kind of messed me up. But, uh, wow. That was of Concrete and Metal by Brett's Play a Game. Uh, this was just a very, very, very weird trip. Uh, it was very cool. Uh, you start off uh, thinking one thing and then it subverts your expectations. And this, then this whole thing happens where it's not really you helping yourself out. You're just alone in this place and they're doing tests i guess we're volunteer we're a volunteer for their tests we're uh subject eight of clubs the legend the hero well not a hero just a madman who actually went mad but yeah this is crazy the last part with the back rooms uh, that was that was a wild ride it's very good it's trippy and just and it's kind of disorienting playing that part <laughs> where it just gets weird and you're not walking straight things getting blurry it's it's crazy but I enjoyed it very much. If you did too, please leave a like and subscribe. Be cool, stay safe, and have a good day.